Life change is an invitation away. If you're a follower of Jesus, one of your primary God-given responsibilities is that of being an inviter. That may sound like an odd responsibility, so let's explore that for the next three minutes. The Apostle Paul described it like this, We are therefore Christ's ambassadors as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Every Jesus follower is like a foreign diplomat who represents God and speaks with his authority among those who do not know him. Your message is an invitation to be reconciled to God now. It's to join in a great celebration that is yet to come. Your invitation is an encouraging, comforting, passionate appeal expressed with a sense of urgency. You see, you're an inviter. There are people who would come into a relationship with God through Jesus if they were just invited. Do you understand that their life change is a mere invitation away? Do you recognize that your invitation may be one of many things that the Spirit of God uses in the life of someone else to transform them? If so, do you know how to go about inviting others? Well, I'd like to point out four ways in which you can invite others to experience the same life change that you've experienced. First of all, you can invite them with your own life. A life of good works and serving other people is like a light in a darkened world that can cause people to turn to the one who is the light of the world. You see, if your life is genuinely one that is consistent with the message of Jesus because of things like morality, integrity, and compassion, it's like a candle to which a moth is attracted. And secondly, you can invite with your story. The Apostle Paul repeatedly told his own story of conversion as he invited people to Jesus. If you're a Jesus follower, like the Apostle Paul, you can describe to others the before part of your life that points to the wrong thoughts, words, actions that characterize your life without Jesus. Then you can point out some of the details about how you heard about the grace of God and came to faith in Jesus. And then finally, your story has an after part that describes the kinds of changes that have come as a result of your faith in Jesus. So you can invite with your life, you can invite with your story, and thirdly, you can invite by sharing Christ's story. Simply stated, Christ's story is the gospel, and the New Testament summarizes it with these simple words. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he appeared. The gospel is the message of the death, burial, resurrection, and appearance of Jesus. All of that to deal with the reality of our sin. So you invite through your life, you invite through your story, you invite with Christ's story, but you can also invite to Grace Church. In every one of our services, our speakers recognize that not every listener is already a Jesus follower. And with that in mind, we try to make sure that the teaching each time includes the message about Jesus. So as you plan to invite people to Grace Church, keep in mind that some people may respond to an invitation to one of our services on site or online. You see, you can be a passionate inviter as you invite with your life, with your story, with Christ's story, and also as you invite to Grace Church. The Spirit of God can use your invitation to set someone's life change into motion.